Honorable Union Minister for Finance and Corporate Affairs, Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman. Honorable Minister of Honorable Minister of State with independent charge, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation and Planning, and Minister of State for Corporate Affairs, Rao Indrajit Singh. Secretary, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Sri Tarun Bajaj. Chairperson, Competition Commission of India, Sri Ashok Kumar Gupta. Members of the Commission and my dear colleagues, a very warm welcome to all. We have gathered on this momentous day for the inauguration of CCI's Western Regional Office at Mumbai, release of e-coffee table book on CCI's journey, and release of competition advocacy booklets in regional languages. With the kind permission of the Honorable Union Minister for Finance and Corporate Affairs, I now request Sri Ashok Kumar Gupta, Chairperson CCI, to deliver the welcome address. Honorable Union Minister of Finance and Corporate Affairs, Shimati Nimala Sitaramanji, Honorable Minister of State Independent Charge, Minister of Statistics and Program Implementation Planning and MOS Corporate Affairs, Rao Indrajit Singhji, Additional Secretary MCA, Shimati Anuradha Thakur, my colleagues from the Commission, Dr. Sangeeta Verma and Sri B.S. Bishnoi, Senior Officers from the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and Officers and Staff of CCI. It's my privilege to welcome you all on the occasion of the virtual inauguration of the Regional Office West, as well as the release of the e-coffee table book and advocacy booklets in Punjabi and Urdu. CCI has always been encouraged by the guidance, guidance and advice of the Honorable Minister. During the 13th annual day celebrations of CCI in May this year, Madam had advised CCI to prepare guidance notes in the form of FAQs for the benefit of stakeholders. I am happy to share that CCI has brought out a comprehensive booklet containing FAQs in English in an easy to understand manner. The booklet containing FAQs has been received well by stakeholders and this has been very encouraging for us. The booklet has since been uploaded to the website of CCI and will be updated from time to time to address future queries. Further, as suggested by the Honorable Minister, these guided notes are being translated into four more languages, namely Hindi, Marathi, Bengali and Tamil, and will be added to the website within a fortnight man. As part of our advocacy mandate, CCI has been publishing competition advocacy booklets in various regional languages on diverse topics. So far, these advocacy booklets have been published in 11 languages. In order to take this initiative further, CCI has translated the advocacy booklets to Punjabi and Urdu. We are grateful that the Honorable Finance and Corporate Affairs Minister has agreed to release these advocacy booklets today. Soon after release, these booklets will be made available on CCI's website. CCI's journey so far has been an enriching one. To capture the evolution of this institution, particularly the formative years, we have compiled various milestones in a pictorial e-publication titled Competition Commission of India, A Journey to the Years. This e-coffee table book provides a visual account of the progress made and landmarks achieved by CCI. This electronic chronicle will be available on our website. It's a great honor that the Honorable Finance Minister has kindly consented to release this publication on this occasion. In a country as vast and diverse as India, setting up regional offices has been a key step towards competition enforcement. The Honorable Finance Minister was kind enough to inaugurate our regional offices in the southern and eastern regions at Chennai and Kolkata. Today, it's our privilege to establish our footprints in the western region of India with the inauguration of our western regional office in Navi, Mumbai by the Honorable Union Minister. CCI's presence at the financial hub of the country will provide ease of accessibility to numerous stakeholders, augment our advocacy outreach in this region and fulfill a long-standing demand of stakeholders. Ma'am, I would like to assure you that CCI is geared to meet the challenges posed by newer forms of businesses and technology. On the merger control front, we are cognizant that inorganic growth through mergers and acquisitions is crucial for investment flows, creating economic synergies and contributing to the processes of industrial development. They also help create economies of scale which are crucial for competing in today's globalized economic order. CCI acts as a facilitator in this process through the expeditious assessment of combination filings. I once again extend a very warm welcome to the Honorable Union Ministers, Addition Secretary MCA, and officers of the Ministry of Corporate Affairs on this occasion, and take this opportunity to thank you all for having been a constant source of encouragement, 
valuable guidance and support to CCI. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. May I now request the Honorable Union Minister, Srimati Nirmala Sitaramanji, to kindly release the e-coffee table book on CCI's journey. Thank you, ma'am. May I now request the Honorable Union Minister to kindly release the advocacy booklets in Punjabi and Urdu language. Thank you, ma'am. This brings us to the highlight of today's event. It is my privilege to now request the Honorable Union Minister to inaugurate CCI's Western Regional Office at Mumbai. Thank you, ma'am. We take this opportunity to present a short virtual walkthrough to the CCI's Western Regional Office at Mumbai through this short video. Thank you. With pleasure and delight, I now request the Honorable Union Minister Srimati Nirmala Sitaramanji to kindly address the gathering. Ma'am. Thank you very much to the Competition Commission and all its members and uh, Chairperson Ashok Gupta ji. To my colleague, Rao Indrajit Singh Ji, Revenue Secretary, who I'm not able to see on the screen, but I'm sure he's somewhere, uh, Tarun Bajaj, who's also the Secretary, uh, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Additional Secretary Anuradha Ji, 
and all of the officers who uh, come together for this uh, important uh, gathering of marking the opening of the CCA, the Competition Commission of India's office in the Western Zone. I've been privileged to be a part of the opening up of the Southern and the uh, Eastern offices, Chennai and Kolkata. And it's always been a intent of the government to have the Competition Commission spread its wings because if you're talking about ease of doing business, the access to competition commission easily for all the uh, businesses is one of the important goals. And in that regard, physical presence in different parts of the country marks a very important uh, uh, end goal. And I think in this regard, credit goes to Chairman uh, Gupta for having ensured that other than Delhi, he spread the offices of competition commission in three parts, three regions of the country. And uh, I appreciate the efforts made by the members of the competition commission in ensuring that uh, the presence is made. I think uh, equally, today we've released some of these uh, documents which are going to be important for awareness building and that it should be not just in Hindi and English and that it should be in regional languages is very well served by the fact that today we have released two of them, one in Urdu and the other in Punjabi, whilst uh, uh, we have been assured by the chairman that sooner very many regional languages are also going to be uh, brought out. It is a very important step. I think Competition Commission cannot remain as an exclusive club of those people who understand its nitty-gritties, but actually for those who actually need that information, it shouldn't be something of a distant price. So access is what is empower, uh, empowering people to know more, access more, access better, and also get the relief that they so need. So these measures taken by the chairman and the team of Competition Commission is very welcome and I appreciate uh, the efforts made by the, by the team. I also can see that regional languages, particularly when you're translating very intricate uh, points of uh, rules or law, also require that kind of a mature translation which should be available. Not just that in the form of printed books, but also to make it available as a digital source of information would be a very big uh, advantage for those who want to access uh, the competition commission. Uh, as we evolve to be a digital economy, the challenges that digitization bring are also uh, very important for us to address. We can't ignore them. They are uh, very important, uh, uh, very important issues, particularly relating to competition authorities, which are very important, and they are also got to be benchmarked. Uh, against the best practices uh, all over the world because this is a very rapidly evolving area. Every country has its own uh, experience. However, because the multina multinational nature of activity in these days where companies are seeking to have interlocking uh, positions in the global value chains, there are holding companies, there are also new acquisitions, there are mergers happening, but across the globe, not any longer in one geographical territory. And as a result of which, issues of fair competition do arise. And if they arise, they have to be fairly and squarely addressed as per the laws of the land. And on that, Competition Commission can keep one eye on the Indian law and the evolution of the law as regards fair trade and fair competition. But equally, it has to keep an eye on what is developing in different parts of the world and benchmark it against best practices that can be brought to India's advantage. I think uh, the steps being taken by the Competition Commission are very welcome. A proactive Competition Commission also brings in confidence in the minds of the people who, act to, uh, who actually eventually for one reason or the other 
want to access the Competition Commission for some relief where they think fair play has been flouted. But unless Competition Commission remains visible, remains informing of people, remains rich in content in both its digital and also the publications, instilling confidence in the minds of people who will require Competition Commission be, to be the fair, neutral arbiter will never be built. So I repeat that point. It is necessary to be seen, to be seen doing things and also to bring out content rich documents both digitally and in hard copy version so that your visibility itself and the rich content itself can bring in a great deal of confidence in the minds of those in businesses. So at this stage I can only say the efforts being taken by the Competition Commission are welcome. You need to be proactive which is what you're trying to be today. You have to do a lot more proactive studies which is what you're also doing in the last one, one and a half years. I'm glad that you stood the test of time during the pandemic but more proactive steps using your um, pow using the powers which are vested in you and not waiting for people to approach you in areas which you think are uh, posing some questions of fair competition will help people well prior to the issues going out of hand. So a very agile, proactive competition commission uh, of India is now uh, actually being appreciated for the kind of work which, is, which it's doing. I further wish that the momentum is kept up and more such work is being done by the Competition Commission. For all the efforts of today, for all the efforts in bringing out the publications and also making digital content available, I appreciate the Competition Commission and particularly the efforts made by the chair, chair, chairperson and also all the members. I wish you all the very best for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am, for your inspiring words. As we are approaching towards the conclusion of today's program, may I request Srimati Jyoti Jindagar Banot, Secretary CCI, to propose a vote of thanks. Over to you, ma'am. Minister of Finance and Corporate Affairs, Srimati Nirmala Subaramu. Minister of State, Dr. Bhavanath Raj, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, Planning, Ernest, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Ravi Mohan Singh, Secretary, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Shri Karan Bajaji, Additional Secretary, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Shrimati Anuradha Chakur, Chairperson, Competition Commission of India, Shri Ashok Kumar Gupta, members of the Commission, ladies and gentlemen. It is my proud privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this special occasion when CCI has started another chapter in its journey. We are extremely grateful to the Honorable Minister for Finance and Corporate Affairs for sparing her valuable time and the Honorable National Office in Mumbai today, launching the e commerce Book and using the Vocacy Booklets in Punjabi Urdu. And your thoughts, insights, and words of encouragement have always been a source of inspiration for us. And we have highlighted very important areas by being to address challenges arising out of digitization and the very nature of activities by benchmarking best practices, proactive initiatives without being by the people who are huge. These are very important reports for us in guidance for CCI and other stakeholders. We assure you, ma'am, that CCI will be mindful of the same in its working. By the gracious presence of the Minister of State, Ravi Jin Sinji, on this occasion. So, we look forward to your continuous guidance. We also express sincere gratitude to additional Secretary of Station of the Honorable for being with us today on this momentous occasion. Continuous support provided by the Ministry of Government Affairs has been critical in facilitating efficient functioning of CCR. I would also like to use this opportunity to thank all those who were involved in organizing today's event, who 
this meticulous planning has resulted in successful execution of this program. Thank you very much. With this, we conclude today's program. Thank you all for.